Testing, testing, one, two, three, guys. Can you hear me okay? Give me a one in the chat box, please. We will be getting started here in the next few minutes. Oh, tons of ones coming in. Nice. We've got a nice, lively crowd tonight. Uh, it's 7.30 p.m. here in Miami. I know it's a little later than uh, you guys are used to doing webinars, at least with me. If you've been on a webinar with me before, usually I do them in the afternoon. Uh, but this time, uh, the boss requested that I do it later that I can spend some time with her and the little one during the day. And if the boss isn't happy, no one's happy, All right? So let's see, we got Montreal, Canada in the house. Elaine, how are you? I recognize that name, Elaine. Alondra, how are you? First one to post a comment. Perfect. Florida, nice, nice and chilly here in Florida today. Jillian from Bali. Wow, nice. We got to be either really late or really early. India, New Brunswick, Ontario, Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Barbara is saying, where's the chat? Exactly where you asked, where's the chat? But there is a questions box and then there's a chat box. So on the GoToWebinar control panel, you'll see a questions box and then you'll see a chat box. Derek, Virginia, 8.30 a.m. in Bali. Oh, perfect. You're just getting started. Nice, bright and early. Andy from Anaheim, Philippines, California, Atlanta. How's it going, Stephen, Robert, Jim? Who's excited for tonight's training? Give me a two in the chat box or this morning's training for those of you out in Bali. Perfect, 8.30 a.m. in Taiwan, awesome. Nashville, Chicago, Mexico City, 1.30 in the morning in Nigeria, Ahmed, wow, you are uh, my hero. I'm pretty much half asleep by, by the time we get off of this webinar, I'll be half asleep. By 10.30, usually I'm nodding away. South of France, wow, nice. That sounds like a great place to be. Harry from Virginia, Dan is from Colorado. Perfect possibilities, I might need OTO, perfect. And guys, if you've uh, hit up our chat box and you haven't gotten a reply, don't worry, we are on top of it. I mean, we've, I mean, if you guys could just see how many tickets we've been getting, um, we are on top of it. We're trying to get back to everyone in a timely manner, but I believe, I mean, just after the first day of the launch, we got easily about 700 tickets or something like that. So we've been working our way to getting caught up with it. Uh, Robert is saying, looking forward to replacing my GetResponse account. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alfonso, are you sending out a replay? Yes, we are. All right, so hopefully everything goes well with GoToWebinar and we can get a good recording. All right, but I'll, I'll start kicking things off here in the next minute. At 7.35, we'll kick things off. Uh, Paula saying, I can't see the chat going on either. Uh, well, this, the, I, I think I'm the only one that can see the responses. Um, and then if I reply to you, you should be able to see my reply. And then if you see this chat box over here, this goes out to everyone. So I'm not sure how it looks on your end, but I know on my end, I have two two sections. Uh, Alondra is saying, I can't get my autoresponder set up, but I'm still excited. Uh, hit us up in, in the support desk. We're more than happy to help you out. Uh, we also have all the tutorial videos in the members area. So uh, we're here. We're here to help. It might take us a day or two to get back to you just because, uh, you know, we're, we're trying. I think uh, today we finally got it down to about 200 tickets. Uh, we've really been uh, hammering in there and trying to catch up. But the thing that happens is, you know, you reply to someone and if it's not an immediate fix, you know, they reply. Or if you do or if you do reply to them and you fix their issue, they still reply with thank you. And that creates another ticket. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, we're digging a hole. We're trying to cover the hole, but just, you know, keeps getting dug up. Uh, but it's 735. Uh, so let's go ahead and kick things off, guys. I want to go ahead and respect your time, uh, especially those that are, um, you know, in Nigeria where it's 130 in the morning. I uh, definitely do respect that. We're going to hopefully get you in and out of here 
Uh, within the next 90 minutes or so, uh, I do have a very special guest on here today who I really enjoy uh, spending uh, you know, time on a webinar with. Uh, I think we've done it uh, once or twice before, and they're just, I mean, this guy is just a bundle of knowledge. Uh, and the main reason is because he's actually out there doing what he's saying he's doing. Uh, and the thing that he, the things that he do, him, him and his partner, it's him and um, his name is Tom, his partner is Nick, but Nick won't be able to be on here with us today because he's out there traveling. Uh, but however, these guys are just out there um, and doing things that no one else is really doing. They're able to get businesses to come to them requesting their services. It's just, it just flips everything on its head, okay? How many of you guys would like that? How many of you would like for businesses to be coming to you and saying, hey, can you uh, run my email marketing uh, campaigns? Can you run my text message marketing campaigns? How many of you would like that instead of you having to go out there and you know try to be like that salesy kind of person? Uh, give me a two in the chat box if you prefer for businesses to come out to you. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know there's some of you on here. How many of you actually like the sales process and don't mind going out and, you know, go out into the field and get sales? Give me a three in the chat box because I know we got some of you in here. There we go. Where are my my New York people, my New Jersey people, all those, you know, good salesmen? Give me a three in the chat box. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I know there's I know there's always those people that boom, they just love it. I'm I, I've tried it, trust me. I've tried both ways and I, I prefer the the less salesy way, you know. It's just I don't have that 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 sly tongue, that quickness of just boom, you know, being a a a, a natural salesperson. And I, I wish I was. Um but good, you know, it, no matter if you do like uh you know the sales process or you don't. Uh, no matter what, you are going to learn something extremely valuable today uh, because it, it really turns things, the, the whole agency uh, structure on its head, okay? Um, and you're going to learn not only uh, how to instantly become an influencer in pretty much any uh, location that you want, but again, to be the authority that people or uh, local businesses are going to go to to get services and it, it doesn't just you know stop with email sms and facebook messenger you're going to be able to you know pretty much offer any sort of service that you'd like and that's what uh tom and nick are masters of they're masters of you know entering an area and pretty much becoming the authority and and and, and the authority uh in the eyes of the local businesses within literally by the time they're you know they step in there uh, they know how to you know Paint, you know, really become the authority and the influencers in uh, those local areas. So, uh, without uh, me speaking too much, because I always end up, you know, just going on and on. Let me get Tom on here so he can introduce himself. He is in a much nicer, much warmer place than Miami. Uh, so go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, uh, Tom. Hey, hello, everybody. Tom Gaddis here. Yeah, I'm coming to you from uh, Maui, Hawaii. That is my home base of operations and Nick's too. But like you said, Nick is actually traveling. He's in Denver right now, so he couldn't be with us today. But Josh, thanks so much for having us on, man. I'm super excited about this training. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, same here. And and I, I reached out to Nick. Uh, you guys actually sent me a goodie bag, and I really, really appreciated it. I already tore up all the nuts that were in there. Uh, <laughs> I'm working my way through the coffee and uh, the the jelly as well. Thank you guys for that. Oh man, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Well, for those of you that are that are on the call, that's a good business lesson for you, right? Nick and I started doing that a few years ago. Like, you know, the people, the clients, the people we do business with, uh, we send them these little goodie baskets, usually like once a year. And uh, I mean, it's just a, it's a great, you know, it's one, it just feels good to do it, and it's it's great when people enjoy them and things like that. But it's also been really good for us business wise, right? You know, it's just that that outreach, right? That connection you can make with other people um, when you're out there doing business. So yeah, glad you liked it. Awesome. Well, if you don't mind, we'll we'll just we'll get started. We got a lot of stuff to go over. So if you're good with that, I'm just gonna plow ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Definitely. Awesome. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll so finish up these nuts here while you're, <laughs> while you're talking. <laughs> Cool. So today we're going to be talking about profiting with Cindio, right? And uh, for all of you that are on this call, you have Cindio. It's an awesome tool. 
um, you know, uh, the power of email, even with all the new things that come out uh, day by day, you know, I, I know for our businesses, email is still one of the best things that, that we do, one of the most profitable, one of the, you know, we get the most responses from it in our local businesses and in the teaching side of things as well. And so I wanted to just take a couple of minutes just to, to talk about a couple of different ways that we can use tools like Cindio because they are tools, right? Really effective tools. But just like any tool, the way you use it can have a direct impact on how quickly and how well you do with it, right? And obviously when we're, when we're dealing with something like Cindio, if you have an existing email list, right? You're pretty much, bam, you're ready to go, right? You can just fire that thing up and start using it to um, initiate, you know, that relationship and build that income and all those things. You can also use use it to build a list, right? From scratch. So you can just go out there. There's, you know, all kinds of tactics for building and growing a list and getting people to sign up for it. But I want to talk about a couple of things that I think a lot of people tend to overlook. And they're number three and four on my little list here. And one is offering email marketing as a service because, you know, you may not, maybe some of you are aware of this, but I see this all the time with our clients. Like we have these businesses that they collect email addresses, they're collecting customer information, yet they're not doing anything with it, not a zilch. Like they're in no way trying to build relationships or even monetize those lists that they're building up, right? And so even if you're, you know, even if you're focusing on mainly online stuff, like I think um, being able to provide that as a service is a, is a, what well, has been for me a great way to generate income and cash flow into my business, even as, you know, you work to build your online things and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just curious how many people on here, maybe you can stick a one in the chat box how many of you focus on just working with local businesses? And if you focus on just online, stick a two in. I just kind of like to get a feel for what we have on here. So I see JD Stewart one, Andrew Local, awesome Gary. I see some twos, Gary, another Gary, Caleb, Ahmed Barbara, awesome. So we got a pretty good mix. Okay, well you guys are you, you guys are in the right place because we're gonna kind of talk about some some backdoor strategies for both types of businesses, right? Obviously, um, you know, I focus mainly on local businesses. That's that's like my bread and butter, right? Like helping local businesses, but I also have a, a teaching side of the business. And so we do more online things there. So this offering email as a marketing service, I know for me, I originally started online, right? And I was trying to build sites and rank them to get affiliate commissions. And uh, honestly, I was really struggling. And then somebody mentioned like, hey, you know, these skill, this skill set you have doing this is valuable to local businesses who don't know anything about it, right? And so I started talking to local businesses and offering to help them do these things that I was learning how to do in the online marketing realm. And it really changed things for me because one, it, 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 was, it was much easier to generate some cash flow. And the other thing is it gave me confidence in my skills, right? Like I knew I could do these things for these for these clients. And then the the fourth thing here is something that, you know, Nick and I have just really identified. This is um an opportune time for this type of thing, but it's and I just say build a local list. And I'm gonna explain that a little more in a, in, in a minute. But wait, imagine like uh, so many things now are moving towards local, and we're gonna talk about that in the presentation. I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of that and really set yourself up as an influencer in your own area or any area that you would like to target, right? So if that sounds good to you guys, uh, why don't you stick a one in the chat box and we will we will dive in. Andrew says, yes. I love it, Andrew. Ellen ones, look at all those ones coming in. Andrew says, that's sweet, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's talk about today's agenda. So in our short time together today, my goal really is to make a big impact for you in the following ways. So in part one, we're going to talk about how to stand out in a crowded market and establish instant credibility and authority. And as you guys know, when you're doing anything online or even in the local space these days, credibility and authority is key, right? And it's probably one of the biggest things 
that we see our students struggle with. And so we've really developed a method that kind of, it just sort of takes care of it for you. And I know you guys are gonna enjoy that. In part two, we're gonna talk about how to leverage technology to quickly get set up and automate most or all of the process, right? Cindio is a piece of that when we talk about building lists and building relationships and things like that. And then in part three, we're gonna talk about how to monetize our system and use it to scale and grow your agency, right? So who am I, right? Well, that's me on the left there in the glasses. I'm Tom Gaddis, that's my business partner, Nick Ponte. And uh, like I said, we both live in Maui, Hawaii. Uh, I'm a former restaurant manager and Nick is a former auto tech. And uh, back a few years ago, I started really on less than a shoestring budget, right? And uh, started getting into helping local businesses um, get more customers, handle their digital marketing. And, you know, I, I, I kind of lucked into some early success. And uh, Nick and I both grew six figure agencies right here on Maui. And for those of you that don't know much about Maui, it's a pretty small area, right? We only have like 144,000 people that live here permanently, the rest are tourists. And, um, but we are both able to build thriving agencies and we, we work with clients today. That really is kind of our, our bread and butter, right? Um, we recently, over the past year, we've, our company's been featured in Forbes. We've had some articles published there on our various methods for doing digital marketing and things like that. Back in 2016, Nick and I teamed up and we started a company called Offline Sharks. And really we started that because we we noticed a pretty big gap in, um, you know, we bought products and we're looking at what other people were doing, but we noticed a lot of things that we were seeing really didn't line up with what we were experiencing in the day-to-day -day operations of our agencies. And so we really wanted to bring stuff out to people that was from the real world that, you know, things that that really go on when you're trying to start, grow an agency, build a business, whether that's offline or online. And so we started Offline Sharks in 2016. Since then, we've helped thousands of people start and grow digital agencies, move their businesses forward, right? And uh, this is, uh, I know sometimes this gets a little cheesy, but I only show these because I, I do just wanna reinforce that Nick and I, you know, we're in the trenches, like we're doing this stuff every day. We're not theory peddlers. Everything that we're going to talk about in this training today, we've tested, we've worked out, we actually use it in our agencies and our businesses, right? But I have a, a really an even bigger question, and that is, why are you here? Why? I mean, I know you, you, you know, you, you have Cindio and you want to, I'm sure you want to make some money with it, but like, What's your what's your reason for doing that? Maybe you guys can give me a little insight as to what you're looking to do. <laughs> yeah, Larry said, what's that paper stuff? I know, so weird to see checks, right? <laughs> Gary says, learn Cindio. Ah Ahmed says, freedom. Michael says, provide for your family. Oh man, Michael, that was a that's a big one for me. I have a wife, I have two, uh, two daughters. They're now 13, 11. I know Josh has a family and uh, I know that's really big big for me, being able to provide for my family, give them a, a lifestyle that is enjoyable and and, and security, right? Uh, let's see, educate globally. You only know, that's a, that's a big, that's a big one. Trying to be successful. I see email marketing, want to get an awesome, to improve my own results for his own business. Dennis, that's cool. Raise money for nonprofits. JD, that's a great reason why. Awesome. Build a client list. You know, God, you guys have some really great reasons for being on here. That is that is really awesome. Um, well, I do I do want to clarify one thing. One is if you're on here because you want to do nothing and make money, then then probably what we're going to talk about isn't for you. So, just to be real upfront and transparent with you guys, you know, Nick and I do work for a living, right? There is some some effort involved in what we do, but. If you want to live life on your own terms, right? And you know that the key to that goal is independence. And, you know, for me, that starts with financial independence, right? Being able to provide and be self-supporting myself. We're going to show you how to break out and take control, right? And, and we firmly believe that anyone who's willing to put in a minimum of effort, I don't even think you really need to be a real go-getter, but if you're willing to put in a minimum of effort, you can do this, all right? So what I need from you is this. 
There is nothing more frustrating than being on a training like this, going going through the things we're going to cover and then running into somebody six months down the road and they still are like clinging hopelessly to those same problems, right? They they haven't taken any action. They haven't done anything. So I would like to get a commitment from everybody that's on this call right now. I want you to stick a one in the chat box that you're not just going to watch this webinar and then go about your day when it's over. Like I want you to get a pad, get a pen, get a piece of paper, turn off the distractions. I want you to take some notes and really think about how you can implement the things we cover on this training in your own business and to get where you want to go. So before I move on, do we have a deal? Let me see, I see, oh yeah, I see lots of ones coming in. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's what I like to see, action takers. That's, I mean, that really is the key to this, right? Like. You know, we can we can learn about all the tools, we can buy all the different softwares, but until we actually start taking action, we're really not moving forward, right? So awesome, awesome. Now we do have a special bonus if you guys stay to the end. And uh, I actually have Cameron from our team on here. He'll put this link in towards the end of the presentation, but we've got a real world case study of how we use Instagram to promote our businesses. And it's pretty much, uh, you set it up once and it just kind of runs on autopilot in the background. Um, but we've been able to use Instagram to build our businesses, to generate interest, to do things like that. And in this case study, we actually show you how we did that. So I know you guys are going to love that. So make sure you stick around till the end so you can grab that as well. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about how to stand out in a crowded market and establish instant credibility and authority. And that's my question to you, right? How are you going to stand out? Because let's. Let, there really is an elephant in the room when it comes to uh, digital marketing these days. And that is, it's getting harder and harder to stand out, whether you're trying to have a business online or whether you're trying to have a business offline, you know, dealing with local clients, it's crowded, right? Like I talk to a lot of clients here in Maui. And like I said, we're in a smaller area, but man, they get hammered every day from people trying to sell them marketing services, right? People that say they work for Google, people from Yelp, like it, it's it's pretty rampant, day in and day out, call after call, right? So how do we how do we get past that, right? And it doesn't really matter what market you pick these days, you know, I mean, most of them are already crowded, right? And you're starting at a disadvantage. And especially as it applies to a local agency, Prospects really just don't know who to trust, right? They don't, they just don't know where to turn. And um, I think that's really makes it super hard to get any results when you're coming at this right out of the gate, right? Now, a lot of people will tell you that all you need to do is work harder, right? Talk to more business owners, but I'm here to tell you guys that is simply not true. And and I and I want to kind of illustrate this. How many of you on here? Stick a one in the chat box if you work hard. Like you work hard, you invest time in learning how to do this marketing thing. You invest time, right? Yeah, right? But ha have you ha has working hard paid off in that sense that it's given you all the things that you're trying to do, right? For, for most people, no, I see John said somewhat. <laughs> somewhat is okay, John. <laughs> you don't have to work super hard. And I see lots of no's, not yet. Yeah, right? Well, I firmly believe that the reason that is, is because positioning yourself as credible and authority is really the first big hurdle that nobody really talks about, right? So how do we, how do we get past that, right? So Nick and I noticed something that was starting to trend in the, the, the digital space, right? And that is sites that were, that were coming online that were very locally focused right now we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about how to do anything with these sites but i just use them as examples one is a site called next door which if you're not familiar with that it's basically a like a social kind of platform for people in neighborhoods right like you have to live in a neighborhood to belong to it they have a verification process and it's just a way for neighbors to communicate to post things about what they're doing another one is alignable which is kind of like a local version of LinkedIn, right? It's more local business focused. And what we took away from these two things is like, here are these big national companies, right? But they're really zeroing in 
on this local aspect of things, right? Like they see a path to success by providing a, a resource to a local area and then using that resource to grow their business and, and provide services, right? And so we started thinking like, is there a way that we could model that you know, not on as big of a scale as sites like this, but you know, in some small way where we could we could set up some type of local influence that would establish us as credible and authoritative, and then allow us to leverage that to do whatever it is we wanted to do, whether that's get clients or monetize our our influence or anything like that, right? And for those of you that are on here. You know, if you try to build up an influencer following online, like through social media and things like that, again, crowded, right? Really hard to do that. So we saw we saw an advantage here. We saw an opening, uh, a place where not a lot of people are focusing and where we believe that if you put your focus in that, it can really get you off the ground, get cash flow coming in and help project you and propel you forward in whatever business you're trying to get off the ground, right? And we do this by what we call the influencer site. Now, I'm gonna, a couple of little things about these influencer sites. Number one, I want you guys to really pay attention to the, the strategy and the thought process behind what we're using, right? Like here in a minute, I'm gonna show you um, an influencer site software that we use. It's something that we developed from the ground up, but you do not have to use that software to make this work. If you if you really pay attention to the strategy and the thinking that we put into this, you'll see how you can apply this to whatever you're doing or, or whatever you have out there as well, right? And there's a couple of things that these influencer sites do. And I know it all sounds a little vague right now, but I'm gonna show them to you in a minute and it'll all become a little more crystal clear to you but they really give you four things that you need for success, all right? The first one is they position you as credible and an authority in a local area, right? The second thing is they position you as different from the quote mass marketing companies and other competitors out there, right? Third is they bring in a high perceived value to businesses in the area that you're that you're targeting and then finally it's easy to leverage these types of sites to reach out to prospects and generate sales for your agency now when we started to develop this we we faced a couple of hurdles right and um we ran into actually a couple of pretty big huge problems number one if you're trying to build sites like this most of the solutions are really expensive i think one of the most popular it goes for just over 1500 bucks and um, it's got a, a pretty steep learning curve as well, right? So not only is there a significant cash investment, but then you have to take the time to learn it. And it just takes a while to get these things set up, which, which really kind of affects your confidence, right? Because it takes forever to get a site that looks like it's actually bringing value and it has a lot of um, businesses participating in it. And that's really what you need for the credibility and authority, right? When people come to these influencer sites, you want them to see a lot of businesses from the area involved in this site because that kind of social proof transfers over to you and what you're doing, right? And then also there's obviously the fear, right? Like how do you put all this together to actually make money with it, right? So let me show you a couple of these influencer sites so you guys can see exactly what we're doing here. And I want you to just for a second, take off your marketing hat and, and think of yourself in the eyes of a potential um, business owner or someone in a local community and you end up on a site like this you guys should be looking at uh, my new screen now this is one this is actually my influencer site and please this site is live so you know please don't uh try to do anything to it this is what i use for my my business so i'm going on kind of the trust process here but you can see there's a couple of things about this site like first off uh it's called the kind coupons, which has a significant meaning for people here in Hawaii. The kind is kind of like a word that means like any and everything. But when you land on this site, right, you see the island of Maui, you see all these pens across the island. These are all businesses that are participating in this particular influencer site, right? There's a couple different things up here along the, the header 
But as you scroll down, you can see that the site itself, it just looks super professional, right? There's these featured listings for businesses here in the area. There's these new listings on the site that you can see right here. And um, like I kind of mentioned before, when somebody lands on this site, really what we want them to see is that this is a real business site, right? Like obviously whoever put this together, they know what they're doing, right? They know how to build websites, they know how to do this stuff. You get that impression just from landing on the site, right? Now these are some sites from a few of our students and um, I wanna show you this one. This is one of our students out in Florida and this is her Stewart's local business directory. And this this kind of uh, going in and out image that you see here, that's a functionality that's built into our influencer site, really easy to do. You just add an image, click a button, it does that for you. But again, you can see how this site, I mean, look at these featured listings of these businesses in her area. Look at how she set this up. I mean, if, if you are a consumer or you're a local business owner and you land on this site, Obviously this site looks super professional, right? It looks like it belongs online. Like it's got things going, right? It's got activity going. Look at all these listings and businesses that are participating in this, right? Here's uh, another one. And by the way, these sites, they work for niches as well. Like here's one that we built in the home services niche. So this is actually on the island of Oahu and all the businesses that we have in here are targeting home services. So how many of you, is there anybody here that targets home services as clients? And yeah, Robert, this is built on the WordPress platform. And by the way, you do not need to be a technical person to do this. And I'm gonna show you the, you know, the behind the scenes of all this and how it works and everything. But I am not a technical person. I have no idea how to code. That's the reason um, Nick actually developed this. It had to be something I could use. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that. So James says, he targets roofers. Yeah. So James, so that's what we do here, right? Anybody in the home services, that's all this is home services niche, right? So we're targeting the home services. And one of the things you'll see, like we do a couple of things, not just for the business owners, but also for the consumers that land on this site. Like we have a blog and you'll see these articles here are all about home service thing, bathroom design tips, basic faucet replacement. Now, by the way, these are all, um, private label rights articles that I purchased from the PLR store. I think I spent less than $20. I got like 500 articles. They're all really well, well written. And I just publish these on the, the blog periodically, right? And they have good tips in them for consumers that come here. But again, what we're doing is setting up a credible site, right? We've got information about home services. We've got these home services business listings here. People can go through and, and check them out. And then here soon, I'm gonna show you how we leverage all this, right? So this is one set up in a niche for home services. Uh, here's another one of our students out in Colorado. You can see a lot of our students like to use this image thing, which I think really gives the site a nice local look to it, right? Like if you were in this area and you came to this site, it's like, yeah, this site is all about this local area, right? These are all businesses in this local area. And um, yeah, this is another good one. Here's one out in Arizona. Uh, this is a student of our Shannon, and he's done a couple great things with this. Um, one is uh, he actually rents out this space. So this this travel company right here, they pay him a monthly fee for this this real estate on his site, and he gets a portion if anybody books these these uh, vacations here. But you can see information about the local area, stuff like that, right? And uh, if you're if you're not targeting local businesses, right? Maybe you're targeting a specific niche, so. Shannon actually does both. So he works with local businesses, but he also targets the MMJ niche, which is the medical marijuana niche. And so he set this site up, which is called Green Deals. And this is the first MMJ directory site in Arizona. And Shannon has just been lighting it up with this, um, getting these businesses to advertise on this site, all built around this niche, right? And you could do this with just about any niche. You could do this with medical, you could do this with eco-friendly businesses, right? Like solar, things like that. Um, so I wanted you to just get a look for just kind of how these sites look when people come to them. So first off, I wanna ask you guys, what do you, what do you, what do you think of, of these sites? I mean, if, as a visitor to them, what's the impression that you're left with when you see these sites, right? Yeah, Tim, cannabis, I know. It's not a niche I would go after, but. He's killing it there, right? 
<laughs> yeah, they look really professional, right? Pro, very professional. So now imagine the person who put this site together, you're a local business owner and they reach out to you and you see this site and you're talking to them like, you're gonna have a very sense of what they're doing, right? Like that they know what they're doing, they know their stuff. And that's really the whole purpose of this. Now I wanna show you some other things that we do with these sites to really bring value to the areas that we're targeting. One is we have an events page. So you can see again here on this events page, uh, these are all events that are happening in Maui in, in February and March, right? So not only is this valuable to people in the community and it becomes a resource where people can go and look for things, but we can also reach out to business owners and ask them if they have events and get them to submit their events and add their events to our calendar. So it's another way to do reach out and add, right? We also, and this is where Cindio kind of comes into these influencer sites, we can use these influencer sites to build a list, right? So we set up Cindio on the sites with a contact form to grow a list where we can send them information about businesses that are added, about special deals that the businesses run. And, you know, in the beginning, we just do that as a service, right? To build that list. But as the list grows, then we're actually able to monetize it by charging businesses to send out deals and special offers about what they're doing, right? Um, there's also these about pages. We also sneak in our, our agency stuff here. Like these are the services that I offer my digital agency. So website design, um, logo design, things like that. So these sites also kind of act as a go between between us and the people that are you know, that are our clients, right? We can send them here to see what we offer, what we do, that type of thing. And it also lets people that visit here know, hey, look, we do other stuff. Like this is what we do. We help businesses get exposure. We help people get things going online. Um, yeah, so let me go back to this main site here. Oh, and one thing I would say too about this Stuart Local Business Directory site, um, this particular student, she actually connected this to a Facebook group that she started for local businesses. And so she really looks like a rock star in her area because whenever somebody, a local business owner joins her Facebook group, she gives them a free listing on this site. So they get in here and then in the Facebook group, she posts information about how to market your local business, things that she can do. Um, she talks about her services, how she can help businesses. And so again, the whole thing really sets her up as an expert and someone who knows exactly how to do these things that businesses need help with, right? So let me go back to my uh, main screen here. And then we're gonna get into kind of like the back end of all this and show you how we, because how we make the money, right? That's really what's important here. So just uh, a couple of things too, the, the Oahu Home Services, site I showed you just just to give you an idea like we set that site up probably about a year ago we've done absolutely nothing to it we don't do any active SEO we don't do anything like that yet that site if you type in home services Oahu it ranks number one in Google right and you can see from this screenshot which I actually just took this morning we're actually above Yelp right and that's because these sites are are designed to give Google what it loves, right? They're authority sites. They have information about a local area. You know, you guys know how much Google loves local focused content. And it really pays off when you have these types of sites for visibility and things like that as well. Now, um, this is, by the way, another thing that just came in from, this was three days ago. We got this email from the Oahu Home Services site. This is somebody who uh, contacted this Takara Roofing to get an estimate, right? So consumers do visit these sites. Now in the beginning, when you're first getting all this stuff started, right? You're not gonna get a lot of traffic, right? People are gonna be going there because you tell them about it. And that's okay, because we're gonna show you how we leverage the site with no traffic to, to start talking about the other services we can offer and other ways that we can help these local businesses. And we're very upfront with the businesses that we talk to, right? We tell them this is something we just started in the area. We're getting this going. So we may, you know, we don't try to play it off like we're some big site that's getting thousands of visitors every day, anything like that. We let the look at the sites. We let, you know, just kind of the, the non-salesy way we approach people do all the talking for us. And like I said, 
you don't need to be a technical person to make use of this, right? And uh, actually later, I'm gonna show you how you can actually have our team set all this up for you for free. So you can have sites, like I mentioned, around local businesses. So you've seen a couple of our students that do that. They're just general community sites. You can set them up in professional niches like medical, restaurants, um, accountants, anything like that, right? You could, you could have a, a site that is the resource for that particular business industry. You could also set these up around business groups in your area. I mentioned our student in Florida, right? Who has a Facebook group that she does for businesses, but maybe somebody has a local business group already in your area. And one thing you could do is go in and offer to set up a site like this for them, for their group, give everybody free listings and help them. It could work with chambers, networking groups, anything like that, right? It also works for groups online, right? Business groups, resource groups, or even cause businesses. I know a couple of people in the chat earlier mentioned, you know, they wanted to raise money for nonprofits or uh, somebody else mentioned they were looking to raise money for children. So you could set up a directory in a local area that featured nothing but nonprofit businesses, right? It could be a place where people that want to find out about what nonprofit businesses are going, are happening in their area, they could go there and see exactly who's doing what, what they're doing, get information to reach out to them and help, right? You know, Shannon, obviously he's doing it in the um, MMJ niche, but you could also do it, like I said, in like an eco business. So maybe you're in an area where there's a, a big population segment that is really environmentally conscious, right? So you could set up an influencer site around all the businesses that do business in a way that lessens their impact on the environment. So you could have a site that would have resources, articles about that, give people advice on how they can lessen their impact on the environment, but also be able to see and choose who to do business with in the area that has the same beliefs, that's doing the same things that they're doing. I hope you guys see the power in that, because this is really like, I think this is something that's um that a lot of people just miss the miss the boat on, you know what I mean? Like getting this local focus and um and coming in at, at this angle. And uh, we're going to dive a little more into that here in just a second. So uh oh, so Nick's not here. So this is this little section is going to be up to me. So I'm going to show you the the under the hood, the back end of these influencer sites and how easy they are to set up because here's the thing. Whenever you're trying to do something like this, speed to implementation is already key. And I think Josh would agree with this. You know, when you're when you're launching a new business, you need to be able to get from zero to having something that you can start generating cash flow with as quickly as possible. Well, I'm going to take a drink of tea here. And like I said, our team developed these influencer sites to do exactly that. So let me go back to my other screen here and I'm gonna show you. So there we are. Here we are on the Decline Coupon site, right? And I want you guys to see, here's some new listings. These are some pizza places. Here's a construction place, right? So the key to making these sites look good and, and really getting that kind of social proof, right? Like when people land here and they see all these businesses listed here, they have no idea whether we have a relationship with them or don't have a relationship with them, right? Like they see them on the site, obviously they know they're participating, right? Um, another interesting thing about this is like, if you look at Shannon's site, now I know a lot of these businesses and these premium listens actually are paying Shannon to be here, but there is a couple of businesses that aren't. So he actually gave some free uh, paid listings away to Olive Garden and Holiday Inn. So again, look at how he's borrowing their social proof to boost his credibility in the eyes of people that come here, right? This didn't cost him anything to give these listings away. Yet when people come here, they go, wow, this place does business with Olive Garden, with Holiday Inn, like they must know what they're doing, right? And um, so let me show you how we get this all set up. So I'm logged into the back end of WordPress, probably looks familiar to you, right? Now, again, this is a this is a theme that we developed from the ground up to make it as easy to use as possible. So let's talk about how we add these businesses to this. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. So if you go down the left-hand side here, you see there's this automated lead importer. I'm gonna go to find an import and I come up to this screen. Now this is actually tied into Google's API. So I'm just gonna type in uh, massage therapist. Oh, I should probably spell that right. 
and then I'm going to enter a location. So I'm I'm in Kihei. So I'm going to type in Kihei, and you'll see the Google API comes up here, Kihei USA. And I'm just going to click search. So right now, what my influencer site is doing is it's going into the Google API. It's finding all the massage therapists in, in Kihei. And here in just a second, you can see, look at all these listings that came back, right? I mean, that's a lot of businesses, right? So if I wanted to target massage therapists, I've now got this list of businesses right here in my area that I can target, right? It also pulls in their Google My Business categories. You can see that over here on the left here brings in their address, right? But now I wanna add these to my influencer site, right? And if you were trying to do this the old way, you would have to scrape this information somehow, you'd have to format it in like a CSV, then you'd have to upload it to whatever platform you're using. And it just gets to be a real pain. And I know from experience, you start doing that pretty quickly, you get burnt out. Watch how easy this is. So first, if I want to import all these businesses, I can do that. I can just click this top box here and it will select all of them. Um, but just so it doesn't take uh, too long, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pick a couple of these. So we'll do Ginger, we'll do Mina, we'll do Elite, and let's do Maui Therapeutic Massage. So I'm just going to select these businesses that I want to add to my influencer site. And I'm just going to click Import Selected Items. Now the influencer site's doing its thing in the background and it's adding these businesses to my site. So I'm gonna go back to this homepage and then I'm gonna refresh and you'll see now in our new listings, it has added those businesses, Maui Therapeutic Massage, Mina, Mina Massage, Elite Massage Therapy, Ginger, now they're added, right? They have a free listing and if we click on one of these, you can see that it's got some basic information about their business, right? It's got a map, it's got their phone number, anything that they had in their Google listing would be here, right? So let's go back to another one. It'll list their website if they have a website. Uh, let's look at Elite Massage Therapy here as well. So you can see there's click to visit their website, there's their phone number, there's their address, right? What do you guys think of that? I mean, if any of you have worked with these type of sites before, you know what a pain in the rear it is to actually add businesses. I mean, is that amazing or what? Like when Nick showed me what he developed here, I was like, holy cow, like this changes the game, right? Like now we can really quickly in a matter of a couple of hours, we can have a site that's populated with a lot of businesses that makes our site look credible, looks like an authority site also gives us a list of prospects that we can start to target, right? And I'm gonna show you how we do that. Yeah, I see lots of wows, cool. That's awesome coming in. Yeah, um, so Robin, I'm gonna talk, well, Robin asked, will the software pull in website, photo, or image? So Robin, it, it, it doesn't do that, and we do that on purpose, and that's because we wanna monetize these sites, right? So let me show you a couple of things uh, before I get to that, and I'm gonna I wanna talk to you about how we monetize these. So. Back here in the back end, let's say now I've added these businesses to my influencer sites and I want to make a prospecting hot list, right? I want to, I want a list of these people in a spreadsheet so I can start doing whatever outreach I want, either through email or however I want to do it. Well, it's really easy to do. If I go to uh, listings right here on the left-hand side, uh, there's a button down here at the bottom. It says CSV export. If I click that, it instantly exports all the listings on my influencer site. So now I have a prospecting hot list that I can use or I can give to an outsourcer to start reaching out to these businesses. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. And, I, and it ties really in with Robin's question here because again, our goal here is to monetize, right? We want cash flow coming in. So how are we gonna monetize these new businesses that are on here? Well. First, we've delivered some value, right? We've given them a free listing and that is something that business owners are looking for, right? Exposure. They want exposure. And when you can give a business owner exposure for free, you know, you're on the right track to providing value for them. But we set these basic listings and these free listings up with this real basic information on purpose because we also offer featured listings, right? And people actually pay to be in the featured listings. And you can see, I'm gonna open up the pricing tab here. You can see we charge just under $300 a year for these listings, right? Now, by the way, this all of this stuff is pre-populated in these influencer sites and we've integrated it with PayPal. So all you have to do 
is enter your PayPal email address and your influencer site, and you're instantly set up to take payments and to sell premium listings. You can do them by the year or you can do them monthly. It's really up to you. You can control these things that are in here, right? But what it does with these premium listings is when someone upgrades, it gives them the ability to stand out. One, it can add them to these featured areas like you see over here, right? Um, here, let me go to one, like this living one is a good example. All these businesses that you see here are featured listings. These businesses are paying to be here, right? That's what they're getting for their investment. These little uh, ribbons that show they're featured. And then if you click on one of these listings, you'll see, let me uh, click on this day spa one. The business owner is able to really fill out their listing, right? They're able to add a slideshow. So here's a slideshow that they can add. They are able to add their logo. They're able to put, you know, more information about their business. They're able, oh, looks like something's going on there with her listing, but they're able to add a description. They can add video to their listings, which by the way, is a great upsell for these influencer sites, right? You have somebody on a, a free listing, you upgrade them to a premium, you can offer to throw in a video that you'll make for them as an added bonus, or you can charge them for it, right? But you can see they can put all this information in and really make their listing pop in these influencer sites. So that's the first way that we monetize with these, um, with these listings, right? So our goal is we use the premium listings as leverage, uh, which I'm gonna talk about here in just a minute. And then we upsell them to the premium listings, right? But we also have a couple of other ways to monetize these sites. Like if I click on this um, this Maui Jeep rental, which this is one of our clients, by the way, we also run paid advertising for this client. But you can see down here on this right-hand side, there's this Pizza Madness, Island Auto, Clear Choice. These businesses are actually paying for this real estate. So this is an ads functionality we have in here. And you can put whatever you want here, right? Like this pizza place loves me, by the way, because uh, they get a ton of these coupons back. Um, but yeah, so you can sell this real estate here as another way to monetize your influencer site, right? Along with building a list, right? Having a place where people can go and enter their email to sign up to the list, to get information about businesses you add and things like that, right? Uh, let me go back. Let's see here. Oh, I think I want to be back in here. So we talked about the ads. We talked about the PayPal integration. We talked about the automated lead importer. Um, so you guys can see how quickly we can get something set up to a point where it looks credible. It looks really good. And then we can start to leverage that, right? But how do we, how do we leverage that? How do we use that? I mean, obviously, we have the, the ways that I just talked about to monetize this, right? By upgrading people to a premium listing or getting them to buy the real estate that we have on our site. But how else do we monetize that? And how can we use it to bring in new clients, to generate revenue, right? Well, like I said, the built-in ways to do it are the premium listings, the featured ad space, but there really is an even faster and more profitable way to do this. And um, these are just some screenshots from some of our students of the prices that they're getting for these premium listings and, and what they're doing with their influencer site, right? And so those built-in ways to monetize work, but like I said, there's a, there's a better way. You can really supercharge this by what we call the business verification method. So what does that mean? Well, here's what we do. We go into our influencer site, we use the one-click upload businesses tool to populate our site with some with the businesses and the niches that we want to target, right? Then we export that list of businesses. So we have a prospecting hot sheet. Then we go and look at each business. We don't spend a lot of time doing this, but we take a look. We look at their website, we look at their Google My Business listing, we look at their social media. And like the first thing we you'll start to realize when you do this is a lot of these businesses need a lot of help, right? They don't really have a lot going on in the digital marketing space. So then what we do is we reach out to them either via email or social media direct messaging. You can do it through direct mail. You can do it at networking events. Um, email is a really great way to do it though. And here's what we do. We, we craft an email. We start off with the subject line, is your business information correct. 
And in the body of that email, all we say is like, hey, I'm Tom Gaddis. I'm the owner of The Kind Coupons. Uh, it's a community resource website right here in Kihei. Your business was added to the site. You have a free listing, but this is live online. So we wanna just make sure we have your business information correct. Can you please click on this link and take a look at your listing and just reply to me, let me know whether we need to change anything or if the business information is correct. Again, this is live online, so we just wanna make sure we have accurate information. That's all we do, we send that email out. Now, number one, our open rates on these emails are insanely high because of course that it has a direct tie into the business owner, right? Like they wanna know like, well, is my business information correct? What's this about? Then they'll click on the link, they'll take a look at their listing and they'll see the influencer site, right? Most of the time they'll respond back with something like, hey, can you tell me more about this site or what you have going on here? Sometimes they'll just say, look, the information's correct. Other times they'll say, no, you need to change this, right? So if we need to change something we do, if it's correct, then we email them back and say, hey, thanks for verifying your information. We really appreciate that. Hey, by the way, we also have several other programs to help businesses in this area bring in new customers. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'd love to set up a 15, 20 minute meeting with you uh, to talk about some of the different ways we could help grow your business. Are you interested in that? And again, this whole approach of them verifying the information correct, responding back and forth, it really just kind of melts away that normal shield that you get from people trying to sell things, right? Also for us, like we don't sound like all these other people trying to sell local marketing services because we're coming at them one with value. We've given them this free listing, right? We're just trying to verify the information. And a lot of times when people look at those influencer sites, they'll want to know, well, what else could you do for me, right? So if you maybe do um, email marketing as a service, right? Like you could then tell them, well, look, one of the things that we specialize in is helping you get more business from your existing customer base. So we can actually take your current customers that haven't been with you for a while. We can set them up in an email campaign. We can send some emails to try to bring those customers that haven't visited you in two, three, six months back into your business. This is a really quick, easy win for you because they've done business with you before, right? We call those customer reactivation campaigns. So that is a great way to use Sendio and what you've learned in the Sendio, you know, what you have with the Sendio software to help a local business get more customers in, right? If you do social media, we can do that. We'll run custom social media campaigns to help drive more calls or more people into your business and we can talk to them about that as well. Or maybe they don't have a website, we can offer to set up their website for them, right? Because we've done a little bit of research, we kind of know what, what it is exactly that they're looking for. And the best part about this is we can actually get somebody else to do this for us. So we actually use appointment setters to do this, this outreach for us, either through email or we actually have them pick up the phone and call people and just verify the information and then just see if they want to set up an appointment and we pay those people on commission. So there's no money out of our pocket to do those things. Um, Dennis says, wow, sounds great. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. I see some people are having some issues with sound. If you're having an issue, you might want to, uh, you might want to log out and log back in. Let me take a drink of tea here. Uh, so what kind of results do we get with this approach, right? Like how well does this, this work out for us? Well, Here's a uh, here's a response we got. We started prospecting at 8.30 in the morning and we got our first reply back at 9.01 a.m. And the reason that I post this one is because look at this little box that I highlighted up here. It says, yes, all the information's correct. So they responded, right? And then said, please note that all promotional business needs to be handled directly with the owner. And they gave us the owner's name. I've never used a prospecting method where people so willingly get back to me with the person that I need to talk to, right? Because it looks interesting to them. Again, this looks like something that's bringing value to the community because it does, right? Now, this is one of our students, Ron C. He actually lives in the Philippines. Um, he retired there, but he just does this on the side. He doesn't even do this as a full-time business, but he used the influencer site, got it set up, and you can see what he said. He sold six websites, three nice size marketing programs with monthly pay, he hasn't even sent one email or asked for any sale. They all asked, what else can you do? That's the power of the credibility and authority that these influencer sites bring up, right? Now, this is an example 
of a uh, client that we started off with. They started off, as you can see, a very a very low entry level, right? They're paying us 250, 500 um, for listings and uh, on the influencer site. And then they came to us and they were like, hey, we want to redo our website. You know, we like the way this influencer sites look. Can you help us do that? We said, absolutely, we can help you do that. At the time, it was like the biggest website redesign we had done. I think we charged them 3,500 or four grand for it. And um, so we're redesigning their website. And as we're redesigning their website, they say, hey, once we get this website redesigned, we want to be able to show up in Google. Can you help us with that? We said, absolutely, we can help you with that. So we started them on a monthly local SEO package. And you can see that we took this client from a really low entry level, right? A really great foot in the door offer. Now they're paying us $1,000 a month to do local SEO. You'll see that it jumps up to a little over 2,100 there in this slide, and that's because as the local SEO was kicking in, they wanted some social media help. So we actually started doing social media management for this client as well. And I, I show you this sequence so that you can see how this actually flows with businesses that come into your influencer site. And this, by the way, is just one business, right? An influencer site can hold hundreds, even thousands of these types of businesses. So you have the potential to progress all of these people through these various phases, right? And then when you do that, you can really follow the proven franchise growth method, which is you get profitable with one in one area, and then you start expanding, right? You could really quickly come to own your surrounding areas. And I want to just take a second here to reinforce the power of starting in your own backyard and starting locally, even if you're trying to build a strictly online business, like even if you wanted to use this just to build it up and sell the directory listings and you, you didn't even want to work with local clients. Maybe you wanted to just put affiliate offers in the ad spaces or things like that. But I want you to see the power of how this really works. And anybody recognize this homepage? Raymond, I see your question. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So Raymond, what's really, Raymond asked, how do you get visitors? So Raymond, there's a couple of things. One, obviously you can use SEO, which is a long-term strategy, but the real beauty of this is when you use that business verification method that we're talking about, you don't need to have traffic, right? All of that just falls into place with you starting and growing an actual site in an area. Like if you are really going to start a community site, which you are, and you are really going to start trying to get it off the ground, that's exactly how you would build, build it, right? By reaching out to businesses, adding them, verifying their information. Like again, we don't tell them we're getting a lot of traffic. Um, we just use it, we leverage it to show that we know what we're doing, that we're doing something for the community, and then we just offer to help them in other areas. So we actually started getting clients and working with local businesses before we, we had any semblance of traffic, right? Now, obviously, over time as these sites are there and we populate them and we add content, those things kind of kick in, like I showed you with the Oahu Home Services site, right? Um, we haven't done zero zilch to that site and it, it ranks you know, really highly in the search results. But this page is the original homepage for Facebook, right? And the reason I have this page up here is because does anybody on this call know how many, like how big was the market that Mark Zuckerberg was trying to target? Does anybody know how many people he was trying to get to sign up for Facebook in, in the beginning? I know it's easy to think like Facebook just sprang forth, right? As this big, this big uh, thing that everybody was a part of, but it didn't start that way, right? Anybody know? Greg says a few hundred people. Hala says he targeted his university. That's right, Hala. Yeah, he targeted Harvard University, right? Which I think at the time had like like 6,000 students maybe. So as the biggest his site could get was 6,000 people. That was all he started focusing on, right? And he started focusing in his own backyard at the university he went to, at the people he knew, at the people that he interacted with day in and day out, right? Now, as he grew Facebook, as it started catching on at Harvard, did he then think like, oh, now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go national. No, he didn't. Like his next thought was, well, we could offer this to other Ivy League universities. He didn't even think we could offer this to all the other colleges out there 
he was still really narrowly focused, just other Ivy League universities. And then once they got the Ivy Leagues, then they expanded to all universities. And it wasn't until way down the road that they started expanding out of the college niche or market, right? And that's how successful businesses grow. They start very tightly focused on a very tight niche. And then as they get success, as they get cash flow, they leverage that success and that cash flow to grow. And that's exactly what you can do with these influencer sites. Now, I know uh, we have, uh, that has been a lot of information, <laughs> right? That's a lot of information we've covered so far, right? I mean, we've covered uh, the number one activity for growing a successful business, right? Which is actually getting a customer, making a sale, getting some cash flow coming in. We've talked about why working harder is not the answer, right? It's really more important that you self you set yourself apart and show you're credible and an authority. That's really the first big hurdle, right? We talked about the four things you need for success, right? How you have to be seen as credible and authority, how you need to position yourself differently from all the other mass marketing people out there, how you have to bring high perceived value to the people you're targeting and how you need to be able to easily open communication with prospects and generate activity around your business. We also talked about how to use tech to avoid failure, right? How to speed up the process using automation and things like that to make the process smooth, to get you up and running as quickly as possible, right? I showed you some of the success some of our students are having monetizing their influencer sites, the different things they're doing, how they're using them to grow their businesses, right? I showed you the flow of how someone comes into an influencer site and then you can gradually walk them up the different services and things you can provide to them to turn them into a high paying client in a relatively short amount of time, right? And we also talked about the franchise growth method, you know, how you get profitable with one, then you start expanding, right? Focus on a local area, get good with that, then you could quickly come to own your surrounding areas. So I have a question for you guys on here and I'm gonna take a drink of tea. Do you see how you can harness what we call the influencer effect in your business? Stick a one in the chat box if you do. James is already asking how much. <laughs> Don't worry, James, we're gonna get there. And it, it, it is, it's, you're gonna be, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised, right? So Janthi, yeah. So we use Cindio to build the email list for our influencer site. So that's another way we monetize these things, right? So Cindio is a tool, right? And when we have a tool like that, we need a way to be able to bring people in so that we can monetize that tool. So we use the influencer site in that way. One, to build a list in our local area that we can then monetize by sending them offers, by charging businesses to send out information about their business to our list or we could send affiliate offers, right? We also use it as a way to leverage to get clients in so we can provide a service like email marketing management where we help them set up an email list for their business to maybe target customers that haven't been back in three to six months or to just build and grow a list for themselves that they can use to monetize in some way, right? Uh, hold on, oh, I see lots of ones coming in, yep. So are you guys happy you've been on this webinar so far? I know I've been talking a lot, but do you realize the advantage you have in your market by using these cutting edge influencer techniques, right? Like this is a huge advantage. It really sets you apart from every everybody else. And I guess a bigger question is, can you see yourself using what I showed you today to help you grow in your business and your ability to be seen as credible and an authority? And really, if you even just use a tiny fraction, right, of what I showed you, uh, I would say your time is well spent. I hope you would agree. I would hope you would agree with that, right? But I do have one more question for you guys. And that is, would you like to spend even more time together going even deeper and further on how to make influencer sites show up in your business with impact? Stick a one in the chat box. Hey, Tim, no worries, man. I really appreciate you taking time to hang out with us. Yeah, I see lots of ones coming in. Lots of ones coming in. Awesome. So here's the reality, right? While what I gave you today is incredibly valuable, like I gave you the psychology, all the thinking behind our system, I showed you what to do. You could go out right now, 
you could uh, find a platform to set up your own influencer site. You could hit the ground running, right? And uh, start to do all this on your own. But really one webinar isn't gonna create the change in your life that you want and deserve. And what we shared today is really just the tip of the iceberg. So if you want to go even further than our brief encounter today, you guys are really gonna love uh, what I have for you because we really had two choices when we um, put this webinar together for Josh. And one is we could just share what we shared this far, right? We could part ways with you. We could hope that on your own, you can make a go of it. Our second option was I can really take a more active role and responsibility for your success. Create a situation where our relationship could evolve from a more one and done type of deal to an ongoing, growing and mutually rewarding relationship. So uh, Nick and I chose the second option. And when you see what we have in store for you, you're gonna be glad we, that we did. And that's why I'm really excited to introduce you guys to what we call agency growth machine, right? The fastest way to gain instant credibility, close more deals and build recurring income. Recurring income, sustainability, that's really what we're after in this business model, right? If we're trying to get to that financial independence, that's really what we need. So with AGM, it delivers results, right? You'll finally have the credibility and authority you need to make prospecting a piece of cake. Your confidence will go through the roof, allowing you to close more deals than you ever thought possible. Plus, you'll have that good feeling of knowing you're providing value for local businesses in your area. And local businesses do see value and consumers in your area do see value in these sites and the information that you provide, right? So what do you get with Agency Growth Machine? Well, first you get our custom influencer site and software, right? So this, again, we built this from the ground up. It has all the things you need to get up and running as quickly as possible. It has the built-in uh, one-click bulk upload business tool so you can quickly pop populate your site. You can customize the look and feel really easily. You saw all the different students, you know, and that's just a handful of them. We have hundreds of them. All their sites look different, but they look good, right? Super easy to, to customize these. You have the ability to have the free and the paid premium listings to monetize. You can monetize with the ad spaces. Uh, it all integrates with PayPal. You just put in your PayPal email address so that you can instantly start taking payments and setting people up. And we have that integrated map feature, right? Where every time a business is added, it adds a pin to the map on your influencer site automatically. So you get that social proof of all the businesses that you have inside your influencer site. You also get comprehensive step-by-step -step training. We have a business quick start. In that section, we show you how to get up and running as fast as possible. We also show you how to actually start generating cash flow before your influencer site's even live. We talk about naming your site. Um, we have an influencer site mastery section where we show you all, I really didn't have time to go into all the things that that influencer site does, but has a lot of really awesome features built in, a lot that have come from our current students wanting uh, new functionality and things like that. We're always adding to it and updating to it. But we show you how to all the ins and outs, how everything works in there. And then we have complete training on how to monetize the system, right? How to do the premium listings, how to do the paid ads, how to leverage the influencer site to sell other services. And if you're not a tech tech person, don't worry, it's still really easy to implement. This is Tim. You can see he said, look, I've tried many times to set up my own website and I've always ended up frustrated with how complicated it is until I came across Tom and Nick and Offline Sharks Agency Growth Machine. The training is so thorough and simple, anyone can do it. And we really do, and we, we really did make it this way. You you know, everything is built in. You don't need plugins to make this work. It's all built into the theme and it's all drag and drop. You don't even really have to know how to use WordPress that well to make this work. Now, here's a couple of uh, testimonials from some of our current students. And this is uh, a person in our group called Raven. And uh, one of the things, and the reason that I highlight this one is because look, she says, I love my directory and I'm making money and I hardly even work it. In fact, I haven't even finished it. So her site's not even finished on all the pages, but still folks are paying and signing up. It's a winner. This is another one of our students. He said, look, I forgot to mention, I had two businesses ask me to do their Facebook marketing as well, but I told them no for now. Imagine having the ability to tell clients no, right? Because he wants to, he wants to be able to focus on bringing in more paid listings with the premium listing. So he went ahead and set up a Facebook business page for them for free, right? Building that relationship. 
And then he said he has a guy, he set up a person to do the, the appointments for him. And he maybe is on sale number four for his premium listings. This, so here's the deal. Developing this uh, software, right? It's cost us a lot of money. And um, we're constantly making additions to it, upgrading it, keeping it updated, providing ongoing support for our users. But today we're gonna hand you everything you need to quickly put your very own influencer site in action and start making money fast. And I even told you, we're gonna show you how you can get our team to set all this up for you absolutely for free, right? So here's the deal. If you jump into agency growth machine today, right? It's not gonna be, you know, two grand. It's not 997. There's no recurring uh, pricing in this thing. It's a one-time fee of only 497. And all you have to do is go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action to get this special deal. This is a special deal for Cindio people, for Josh's people. Love you guys. I know you're going to be able to kill it with this thing. And Cindio, the combination of these two things is really great. But I'm not going to stop there. We also want to just really make this a no-brainer for you guys, right? So we have a couple of really awesome bonuses that we are throwing in. Number one, when you take action and get started right now, we are going to send the first 25 people that sign up, we're going to send you a $500 American Express travel voucher. So this is the same as cash. So if you're booking a, a travel anywhere, hotel, anything like that, this is $500 cash that you get deducted from whatever your travel or your hotel costs. Um, these are like real money, right? So you're actually coming out $3 ahead on these things. One thing I want to say about these travel vouchers, uh, one, we have a very limited number of them. That's why we can only do this for the first 25. The other part is because these are just like cash, if you take this option and you have the option to either take the travel voucher or not take the travel voucher. And if you take the travel uh, voucher, once we give it to you, it's yours. Like there's no way to give it back to us. We're just out that money. So if you elect to jump in and take the travel voucher, there is a little box you have to check, just letting you know that there's no refunds if you take the travel voucher, but we will do everything in our power to make sure you're successful with this, right? Um, but it pretty much makes the whole thing like I said, you're coming out $3 ahead on this deal, right? Because these are just like cash. Now, if you don't take the travel voucher, of course, Nick and I, we stand by our products. We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't take the travel voucher, you know, you want to go through it. And if it doesn't work out, you give it a try. Just let us know. If you do take the travel voucher and you find yourself not being able to have success, we're here to support you. We have a support team in place that I'll talk about in a second and some other things to make sure that you're successful with this and get your... Uh, even more than your investment back, right? Because you're basically getting your investment back with these travel vouchers. So what else are we gonna throw in to make this worthwhile for you guys? And again, if you wanna jump in, you just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. So we're also gonna include all of our in-house proven scripts, checklists, and procedures, right? So we have scripts on everything, phone scripts, email scripts. Um, we have a scripts on how to hire an appointment setter, um, social media scripts, um, how to generate activity for your influencer site. We also have training inside on how to attach other social media properties to your influencer site and really build an ecosystem that feeds off each other and generates activity for you and what you're trying to do. Success bonus number two, and this is the one I alluded to earlier, is for the first 25, we will set your influencer site up for you. So in the training, uh, we show you how to pick a name, we show you how to get a domain name and a hosting account. You set that up and then you just send us your credentials and our team will set up your influencer site for you. So it makes it super easy. You don't have to do anything. Now, I do want to say that influencer sites themselves are really easy to set up on your own. So if you need to set up another one, if you're looking to expand to other areas, it's really super easy to do that. We show you how to do all that in the training, but we'll set up your first one absolutely for free. All you have to do is go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. Now, bonus number three, we're also gonna throw in unlimited listings and a developer's license for the influencer site. So this is a $997 value. It basically means if you wanna build two, three, four, five, ten 10 influencer sites, you absolutely can do that. If you wanna use the influencer site to build a site for a client, you can do that as well. So we, we throw, throwing that in, it's a big value. All you have to do, go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. Now, bonus number four, 
is our appointment setter blueprint. So I mentioned how we have appointment setters that work on commission base to do the selling for us, right? So we actually have a system worked out for this. So in this little mini course, we actually show you how we do that. We show you where to find these people, how to structure the pay. We even give you our in-house appointment setter training manual that you can edit with your own business information and give to them, it explains to them what will make them successful, how to perform what they need to do. And we show you how to do that from uh, where to find them, the hiring process, the interview process, setting it all up, everything's covered in there, right? And then finally, success bonus number five, we have a monthly live Q&A coaching calls. And so every month we get on, we talk to our agency growth machine members. We talk about new features. We talk about new strategies we're developing all the time. Sometimes we have uh, members on that are having success. We do what we call hot seats, where they talk about what they're doing, what they're having success with. So you can see how you can leverage those types of things in your business as well. And all you have to do to get all those bonuses is be one of the first 25 and go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. So here's everything that you get today. And I'm, I'm not going to go um, through each one of these, but I do want to talk a little bit about the investment, right? Because I know, I mean, it, it's under 500 bucks, which I think is a killer, killer deal, but it's not chump change, right? I mean, it's a serious investment. It's for a serious person because really what we're offering here is a serious offer, right? To change your life, right? So, you know, if you're kind of sitting there and you're like, man, I would get in if I could afford it. I want you to listen really closely to what I have to say because, you know, I used to have a regular job, right? And uh, when I had this regular job, I had this really crappy car that I needed to get back and forth to work because the job wasn't close to what I was doing. But that job, that job gave me, you know, it helped me pay my rent. It helped me do all the things that I wanted to do at that time in my life. And uh, one day my car broke down. And uh, so I want you to imagine if that happened to you, right? And your car broke down and you you called up a mechanic, you find out how much it is to fix. Let's say, let's say it's 500 bucks, right? Like, would you all tell the mechanic like, oh man, sorry, I can't afford to get the car fixed. Like, no, you would get the $500 together to fix the car because you need the car to get to the job that's giving you the things that you need, right? Well, agency growth machine and what we cover inside is the car that's gonna get you to where you wanna go. All those things that you that you mentioned at the beginning of the call is why you're here. The financial independence, the be able to provide for your family, to donate to nonprofits, that, that security, that, that ability to get out of the rat, rat race and maybe leave your job and do this full time, right? You can have all that. Agency Growth Machine can get you there if you put in just a minimal amount of effort and follow the system like we've laid out, right? So, you know, I think it's important to realize that this is an investment in you and what you want in the future, right? So if you want to jump in, go on over to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. And remember, the first 25 we're going to throw in all those awesome bonuses, right? The the American Express reward card, the set up your influencer site, all those things. It's a one-time fee, $4.97. You just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action, right? Now, I know some of you, other people on the call, right? You might be thinking like, well, look, the investment's not really my concern. Like, I'm totally cool with investing in myself to get this thing going. Um, but, you know, what what about the time, right? Like how long does this take to get going? Because, you know, you probably realize that money can be replenished, but when you lose a minute, like that's gone forever, right? So some of you on the call, this call want to know if in addition to the investment, what's required of your time. So here's a couple of things I know about you. The first thing I know is that you can make time for things that are worthwhile, right? So in fact, you guys are here right now. We've been on this webinar for an hour and 40 minutes, right? So I know you have some time, but do you have enough time? Well, time is the only thing that's given out equally to each and everyone in the world, right? So did you know there's nothing else so evenly and fairly distributed as time? We all have the same 24 hours in a day, right? And it's not really about how much time you have, it's what you do with the time that you have that matters. So. Here's what I want you to do. If I can show you how to do this and save time, actually have more free time than you currently do, would you guys sign up then? If time is a concern, just stick a one in the chat box. 
I see some ones coming in. Awesome. So here's what I want you to do. So mentally, I want you to begin making a list of all the five things that you do to consistently generate income or get clients, right? Next, I want you to order those in number one, the most effective to number five, the least effective, right? So now I want you to take a big red marker and cross out whatever number five is and in its place, put agency growth machine because what you're doing right now just isn't cutting it, right? And if you know for certain you could get clients, would you wake up 15 minutes earlier, five days a week and go to bed 15 minutes later? I mean, of course you would, right? And congratulations, that's all you need to get started and get started you will. So all you have to do is go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action right now because it's time. And the less time you currently have in your life, the more time implementing this system will make for you. Now, what we're doing, by the way, works. Like I said, this comes from our actual businesses. And I see you guys have some questions and we're gonna get to some Q&A here in just a second. Um, but I do just wanna say like, look, you know, what we're doing works, right? I mean, and really when you think about it, when you consider the facts, it's really nothing special, right? I mean, the facts are we spent the last several years of our lives using trial and error methods to discover the secrets that we can give you today for a small investment. Now, I'm not above average intelligence, by the way. I wasn't blessed with above average skill, nor do I have any other advantages going in other than the ability to work hard, fail often, and I never, I never give up, right? And you can do the same. You can go out there and spend countless hours dealing with all the stress, headaches, and making all the same mistakes I did. But my question to you is why? Why would you do that when you can shave thousands of hours of headache and heartache off by simply exchanging a small amount of money for our roadmap and software to immediate success, right? You can just breeze right past the pitfalls as we give you the essence of our thousands of hours of experience so that you can shortcut your path to success from a matter of months and years to just a matter of hours or days, right? And when you look at it like that, I think you'll agree with me that you're getting the deal of the century when you sign up today for $4.97 one time, just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. So uh, here's another one of our students. And uh, he said, look, so I have no sales for my listing site yet, but three business owners asked me what I do. And now I have appointments this week to take over their social media marketing. Thank you, right? So not generating any sales from the influencer site yet picked up three, three appointments to manage social media for these clients. And again, here's some other results from some of our students of what they're doing. And you can get in for one time, $4.97. Just go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. So Cameron, I know you're there. I know you're responding to people in the chat, but maybe because I was, I mean, I was talking away. Why don't we pause for a minute? Let's take some questions. I don't know. Do you see some questions there from people that maybe I can uh, I can answer there hey, while I take a drink of tea? Hey, hey Tom, real quick. I just want to jump in. Uh, oh, real yeah, quick. yeah. Sure, Josh. Uh, first off, thank you for that amazing presentation. I mean, man, I got a easily a page full of notes here. Um, and I told you guys, you guys were in for an amazing training. And I mean, so many golden nuggets dropped uh, all throughout the presentation, not to mention the amazing offer that he's offering. Uh, I, I do see uh, several people asking if they are, uh, if they've been uh, one of the first 25. Uh, so if you guys could just do us a favor, there are still some spots left, but I do see that uh, Mark has jumped in, Dominic has jumped in, Tim has jumped in, and um, there's a few other people. I see John has jumped in. So uh, as soon as you jump in, uh, post it in the chat box so we can kind of have a rough ballpark pick figure about how many spots we have left. Uh, Daniel just posted that he's in, Janelle is in. Awesome. So as soon as you you jump in, let us know. Uh, seems like right off the bat that was easily about nine or ten people. Um, so I would say what another fifteen or so spots left. Olivia is in. Paula is in. Awesome guys. So as soon as you jump in, um, JD is in. Um, Jade is in as well. Bruce. Awesome. Great to have you guys on board. So as soon as you join us, I mean right there, I think that was what another three or four. So we're probably at like 12 or 13 spots that have been taken in. Uh, so that's about half. So within what, 10 minutes. So if you're going to jump in, make sure you jump in. We do still have uh, a few of those 25 spots left, but 
I mean, amazing action. This this could not fall more perfectly in line with Sendio and being able to uh, leverage the agency license and agency grouping feature that you guys got as a free bonus. I mean, being able to go into any local market, build one of these influencer sites, uh, not only build your local list, but also offer those services to those local businesses. I mean, it's the perfect fit, uh, especially if you don't have a list. Um, because again, you can leverage these local businesses lists uh, to start making a profit. And with how easy their software makes it to build these sites, I mean, there is no reason none of you on here can get in there and start getting results easily within the next few days, uh, you know, if not the next week. So uh, make sure you guys get in there. I mean, I'm, I'm personally excited now. I've been excited all week to get this training out to you guys because I know that it can truly change your life. Um, number one, because list marketing is, I wholeheartedly believe that is the number one way that you can, uh, you know, truly live the lap, the laptop lifestyle. Um, but also, uh, you know, coupling that with, uh, the local marketing system and the influencer niche site system is just, you know, it's the perfect fit. So make sure you guys get in there and we look forward to uh, answering you guys' question. If you are on the fence about something about, you know, jumping into this, just let us know in the chat box as well. And we'll help you. Uh, get in there and make the right choice. Yeah, awesome, Josh. Thanks. Yeah, and you're you're absolutely right. Like I really do, you know. And let's just talk about local marketing for a second and what Cindio can do with this. And because somebody did ask, like, what do you sell? And the answer to that question is, we sell a lot of different things on the back end of this, right? Like, we sell SEO, we sell website design, we sell social media management. Um, obviously, we have the premium listings and those kinds of things as well that we monetize on the site itself, right? But one of the things that I think is really overlooked, and if you're if you're an agency owner, you should really listen to this part because it is hard to get a new customer for a business, right? That's not the easiest thing in the world to generate a new customer for a business. But something that is just really low hanging fruit, that is a really quick win, that will make you a rock star to any business that you work with is being able to take their list of customers that have done business with them at one time but haven't been back in a while and run an email campaign that brings those customers back again right it's really trackable it i mean it, it's and it's it's not really that hard to do because those people have obviously dealt with this business before right like maybe they're just looking for a reason to come back and so you know, that's what they call a customer reactivation campaign. And I really think it's something that a lot of people overlook. Once you do one of those and you generate some customers for for a business, like they love you forever. Like I mentioned that pizza place that I showed in the presentation, like, man, they love me because, you know, they get a couple hundred coupons a month, right? Like if I go to them and tell them like, hey, I have an idea for some social media marketing, they're like, what is it? <laughs> like they don't, they don't ask any questions, right? Because they know that I can deliver results. And that's what Cindio gives you the power to do when you combine that with what we talk about here in the agency growth machine. I see Tim uh, asked, how many sites can we set up? Tim, you get an unlimited license. So if you're one of the first 25, you get an unlimited developer license. You can set up as many sites as you want. We'll actually do your first one for free for you though. And by the way, just on that, our team, we have a, a, a really great support team. Um, once you get them your credentials uh, to log into your WordPress and your hosting account, they can usually get your site set up within 24, 48 hours, right? So they're pretty fast. Uh, I saw Derek asked, um, what about a refund policy? So Derek, he here's the deal. So we have that awesome bonus, the $500 Amex gift card, right? So if you want to take the Amex gift card, which is just like cash and it, it, that costs us money to give those out. Um, if you take the Amex gift card and, and I'll show you in a minute, the little box you check, but if you do that, then we don't offer a cash back refund. We will do everything in our power to help you succeed and give you all the support you need to be successful with this. If you don't take the American express card, then obviously we can extend a, a guarantee like we do on anything, but just because of the, the money involved in those, we're not able to do that. If you take those, uh, let's see. And uh, so just real quick, uh, Peter has jumped in, Anthony Thomas Parker has jumped in, Chris has jumped in, and yes, Chris, you are one of the first 25. Uh, and I saw a few, uh, Melanie jumped in, uh, Chuck just jumped in, 
Perfect. So it uh, seems like uh, we are filling up quickly. That probably what puts us at like 15 or 17 uh, spots that have been snatched up already. So uh, make sure you guys get in there. And once you do, please post in the chat box so we can kind of get a rough estimate of where we're at. Yeah, and give you a shout out. I see Mark's in too. And Chuck, I see you're in, but yeah, that's right. It's one time 497 for unlimited sites. So it, is, it Dominic says huge deal. It really is a huge deal. And the so sites Tim, that I create, think... the, I mean, the quality of the sites too is like, it's really impressive. Like it's not, you know, you guys are not messing around with the sites that you're creating with, you know, with your platform. I mean, it truly can, uh, you know, um, surprise. I mean, like just eye-opening for for local businesses. These aren't like you know rinky-dink sites. These look like professional, high-end sites that are truly running uh, deals in the area. So I mean, that's not you know your typical you know hundred, two hundred dollar template site. This is a professional-looking site. Yeah. Well, you know, and what's really interesting about these sites, and I always kind of chuckle at this because. So we've been using this system for a while, right? And we have hundreds of students that are using it, that are setting these sites up, that are making money with it. And um, nobody ever believes me when I tell them this, but I, but this is this is this is absolutely the truth. I have never once, never once, has a local business owner asked me how much traffic my influencer site gets. Not one time have I ever had that question from a local business owner. The only time I get that question is from marketers. That's the first thing they always think. Well, what about traffic? But when you, you know, when you look at the system and the way we leverage it with the business verification and the way that we're very upfront with them about this is something we're building in this local community, like people don't expect those sites to get lots of traffic right out of the gate, right? And again, we're using it as a way to leverage and get that relationship going by providing some value, showing we're credible and authority and building that relationship. Another thing that we do is, you know, the premium listings that we charge $300 a year for, if you think about that, like we've just created our own currency with that, right? So, and what do, what do I mean by that? So let's say that, um, let's say that I am talking to one of these business owners and, uh, they're like, yeah, I'm interested. To, what else could you do? And I talk about maybe setting up an email, an email uh, opt-in list for their business, right? Like, hey, I noticed you're not collecting emails on your your website, which is a big no-no. I could set that up for you and then help you run uh, promotions and campaigns to the list to generate new business and income. And I tell you what I'll do. Uh, if you sign up today, I will throw in a free premium listing. That's that's a $300 value no charge for you. We'll get you set up with the premium listing and we'll run the campaign. Like talk about being able to stack bonuses on top of what you're already doing, right? I mean, it's um, it really does have a high perceived value to these local business owners. And here's uh, one thing that I wanna show you guys too. Let me, um, this is the agency growth machine members area. Let me, uh, get my great suspender off here. But I just want to show you like when you when you log in, you'll get an email with access, right? And again, if you want to jump in, we still have a couple of fast action bonuses left, although they're going pretty quick. Go to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. But once you get your login info, you log in here and there's a couple of things. One, these are each thing you see here is a section and there's videos in each section, right? So this is the quick start section. And uh, when you get in, First, we'll talk about how you wanna focus, naming your site, some tips for getting better results. Then we give you a way to prospect before the site is live, which is really good and works like gangbusters too. So you don't even have to have the site up and running. Um, all of this stuff is designed to get you up and running as quickly as possible, right? All the done for you scripts and resources. Here's the, the over the shoulder training we have of how all the functionality works in the influencer site. Nix does all these how to set everything up. Um, we also have some things that we didn't even really talk about on the uh, training. Here's how you add the events page. Again, the events page, uh, just another way to prospect, right? Like instead of reaching out to businesses and verifying their free listing, you can just reach out to ask them if they have any events that they'd like added to your site. Like what a non-salesy way to initiate a conversation and really position yourself as just another local business owner in the area, right? 
We've got a simple Facebook ad strategy for generating leads. And uh, this is really good. This is a method that we use. You don't have to use Facebook ads manager or anything like that, but it's a strategy we have that drives people to our influencer site. And then we actually have a chat bot set up on the influencer site that walks them through claiming a free listing and then offers to upgrade them to a premium listing. And we actually give you all of that. We give you the complete chat box, all the copy, all the text, everything, right? Um, all, all of these other things you see here are just ways to really grow. And I mentioned making an ecosystem out of this. Like you can really build a brand around these influencer sites. Like you can submit press releases to the local paper for publicity, right? You can um, create a Facebook page and connect it to the influencer site. And we show you how with just about 10 minutes a week, you can have automated content going out to your your influencer site Facebook page about local businesses and events in the area, again, generating activity. So when people go there, you have that credibility and authority and it doesn't cost anything, like all that is free, right? We also talk about SEO, right? We give you some SEO training. We also give you our in-house um, SEO blueprint. So we tell you the, the outsourcing companies we use, what we buy, how we get sites to rank. Um, we talk about Google My Business and then we have the coaching calls. And uh, you can see we record them all. We put them in here. You have access to all the past ones. There's a lot of great information in here. These a past couple of coaching calls, we talked about how to use Alignable to close deals. And then another one, we talked about how to use Nextdoor. We have some students that are just crushing it with those two platforms, getting clients that way. Um, so this is the members area. You get instant access to all that stuff, right? And then of course, our team will set up your influencer site for you as well. So if you guys are actually, oh yeah, it's camera ahead. here. And actually that was something I wanted to ask because I saw a comment in here. It reminded me, um, who here does not have a website for their business? If you don't have a, uh, a website for your business, put a two in the chat box. While you guys are doing Janelle, that, Bobby has jumped Larry. in. Oh, he has jumped in. So uh, there's probably six or seven spots left guys. Just, putting that out there yeah Cameron can you give me a count yeah. on how many I think we're down to uh, last time I updated was four and that was uh, a few minutes ago I haven't looked since then so we are getting very close but we had a lot of twos come in and you know that's something that is a hurdle for you when you're getting started is figuring out the entire website and process and getting it all set up and getting it filled with content um, and Tom you just mentioned it you know that's part of the offer tonight is you could send us your credentials and stuff for your website in a ticket tonight and wake up tomorrow morning and have a, a website done for you. Uh, and Tom, maybe you can talk a little bit more about it, but it's, I know you showed on there, it's got the content that we use for our agencies. Well, for Tom's agency on Dakai and Coupons, um, it's got the content built right in. So you can do some minor edits to those pages and you've got a, a website ready to go. And it's not just a website that is, you know, here's my agency, here's what I sell, do you want to buy from me? It's it's a local influencer platform. It's a community resource website that people actually want to visit. And when the business owners hit it, they go, wait, what is this? This seems interesting. How do I get on here? How do I find out more about this? Yeah, Cameron, you actually, you hit the nail on the head. We do include all that, that content that demo content like the website design page the logo design page um all those all those things uh are included when we set up your site you can make those page live or you can lead them leave them as drafts but if you make them live you just make a few minor edits and now you have a page that you can send people to that shows you what you do for website design for local seo all those kinds of things if those are services you offer and if they're you know if they're not services you offer we uh, also have some training in there on local SEO. That's one of our, I mean, I know local SEO gets a bad rap, but I mean, that is one of our most profitable recurring services that we offer. And so we have some training in there on that. If website design is something that you've kind of stayed away from, um, an unannounced bonus, I guess now, don't, now I guess it's announced, but another bonus we throw in with this when you uh, jump in today is uh, one of our, themes called WordPress Profit Monster or Website Profit Monster. And it's basically a really super easy to uh, customize theme that you can set up in a day or two and you can sell websites to local businesses for 800, 1,000, 1,500, and they take you hardly no time at all to get set up and running. And uh, 
we actually use that as a foot in the door sometimes and to sell on the back end of this. So if you don't have a service to sell, if you're brand new and you're just like, I don't know what to do, you like you could pair those two things together and uh and and use those. Um so one thing, hey Terry, awesome. She says she's in. Terry, you could make one for all of Australia. Let me, you know, Terry brings up a good question here, and I want to talk about this for a minute. Here, let me turn on my camera so you guys can see me here. I don't know, GoToWebinar has been acting kind of funny. Hey, aloha, everybody. Hopefully you can see me. Um, Terry brings up a good point, and uh, I want to just kind of touch on this for a minute because a lot of times when people look at the influencer site, even though we talked in the presentation about focusing local and doing all those things, you know, we our our desire is to do something that's big right to do something big and national and um i think a good approach is what you saw that like the arizona deal site that i showed in the presentation shannon does a good job there because that site is branded for all of arizona but he really focuses on a tightly a small area but he has the ability to expand out if he wants right so i don't think there's anything wrong with with having your branding be something that targets all of Australia. But I think when you're, when you're starting out, you should pick a specific area, preferably an area that you're familiar with that you can really use to get good with the system and build up some cash flow and stability, right? So you can absolutely do that. But, you know, when you talk about launching something nationally, like, I, and I, don't, I don't know what, what situation you're in, right? Like, Maybe you have a big budget, maybe you have a big team, but if you're gonna launch a website and you're gonna try to target a national audience, like it takes a lot of resources to do that. That's why, you know, that's why people don't start that way unless they're big companies, right? So um, Facebook didn't start that way, other companies didn't start that way because it's really hard to do and the resources required takes a lot. But what you can do is start in a small local area, start, small and grow big that works super effectively because as you grow it's much easier to solve problems when you have cash flow when you have money coming in like much easier to solve a problem than when you're sitting there and you're trying to do something and you don't have any cash flow coming in so uh yeah, one other, actually two other questions tom that we had that are pretty related number one is um are there any upsells am i gonna have to buy anything else after this and that was kind of related to the other question, which is what else do I need to buy? Like what what other costs am I gonna have associated with doing this? Yeah, those are great questions. So number one, there are no upsells. I mean, this is it's just a one-time 497. There's no upsells or anything like that. The only other cost that you would really have in this is you're gonna need a domain name and you're gonna need a hosting account, right? So if you um, you know, and we show you in the training, like we get our domain names through Namecheap which is really super inexpensive and, and you don't need a big hosting account. Like you can do just a GoDaddy uh, low dollar hosting account as well. But we do it that way on purpose because we really don't want you guys to be tied to us, right? Like this is an asset that you own. It's an asset that you can build and grow. And so you want it on your own domain name and your own hosting account. Hey, Josh, I see you there. I, I was trying <laughs> to figure out how to do that and it was staring me right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I like that Yeti microphone. Thank you. Awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, so one thing that, and yes, Robert, we do provide ongoing support. So look, we're, um, yeah, actually, let me do that here real quick. So here, here's what I want you guys to do, because I, I see we still have 200 people on this call, which is amazing. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah, so take advantage and ask your questions now, guys, especially if you're on the fence about uh, getting started yeah, with this. Yeah, stick And we, if Any you go questions? to the page and it still says we have fast action bonuses, then you're good. Well, Cameron has to manually update those. So if you can get there before he updates them, you're good. Um, so what I want to do is like type in, go to your browser and type in uh, offlinesharks.com forward slash action. I'm just gonna do that here. And I just wanna point out a couple of things on this page. So uh, one, uh, oh, you can see Cameron updated this. So we only have four fast action bonuses left. So a couple of things I wanna point out here. One on the left here, it shows everything that you get inside here, right, with um, with your purchase today. Uh, and again, it's just one time, 497. There's no upsells, anything like that. Um, and and to set the influencer site up, really the only other thing you're going to need is a domain name and a hosting account, right? 
Uh, as you scroll down the page here, though, you'll see over here's the section I was talking about for the the um, the American Express fast action bonuses. So again, if you take that because they're like cash, we can't offer a cash back refund, but we will do whatever we can to help you be successful. Um, but you have to check this little box right here. So you just check that if you want to claim the $500 American Express bonus offer, and then you just click this enroll in agency growth machine. The other thing uh, I want to point out though, is this thing down in the lower right corner, this live help is online. This is our support team and we have a really awesome support team. Cameron heads that support team up. We have a couple of other of them on here that have been interacting with you in the chat. Uh, Nick and I take our commitment to our students and the people that, that, that choose to join us very, very seriously. So we make sure that our support people are there to help you when you have questions. You just, you can, you'll see these live chat things all over different places. Our support is offlinesharks.com forward slash support. Like we're not trying to hide. We want you to ask questions. We want you to get in touch with us. We have a Facebook group where we, uh, you can post questions in there. We also do a weekly live marketing jam session every week where you can come on and ask questions. We also have the monthly AGM only coaching calls where we just talk about that. So, you know, we know we're not going anywhere. So we're going to be here to give you all the support and resources you need. All you have to do is jump in, take action and show up. Right. And so if you want to do that, you just go over to offlinesharks.com forward slash action. I, I want to touch on that as well, um, because the you guys, this Facebook group is easily one of the most valuable Facebook groups uh, that I'm a part of. I mean, they're w easily every week posting case studies um, and not just, you know, a screenshot here and, you know, this is what we made this week, but it's like a screenshot and like, you know, these are the steps that we took and then, and then they have that weekly live uh, session all the time as well. And it's just like, it's one of the most active groups that I see out there and it's, Again, it's not just a group. It seems like it's just like it's a real family of people there helping each other, rooting each other on uh, because it does get lonely in this business, you know, where, you know, you're the only one maybe in your, in your entire family trying to build a business online. Uh, and when you can go to a Facebook group like that where everyone's cheering you on, no one's trying to tell you, hey, you know, what you're doing is not working or, you know, people don't believe in you uh, in that Facebook group, man, it's just literally it's it's one of the most valuable groups that I'm a part of because again there's oh, always good you. content being posted they're always doing live uh, live events in there uh, and it's amazing yeah so that alone i mean it's just amazing yeah it is a great group and we have a we have a couple really great students in there that are always sharing what they're doing Shannon who we talked a little bit about in this presentation uh Carla a couple of other people we we have one guy in there uh Zachary this kid is amazing. Like you want to talk about, like he's such an inspiration to me because um, Zachary, it, he's facing some huge difficulties. He can't speak. He can't. He can't speak. He has to use a computer keyboard and um, and computer voice to talk. And yet every week, man, that guy is like closing deals, getting clients. Like it is amazing to watch. And uh, it's really a big inspiration. And you're you're right. Like, there's nothing like being around a bunch of like-minded people that are all trying to do the same thing you're doing. And you can hear what's working, what's not working. Get real good advice about what you're doing, right? Man, and if that doesn't make you not want to make excuses at all, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what does. One day, Nick, he messaged me. He's like, God, he's like, did you see Zach's post in the Facebook group? He's like, does that make you feel lazy or what? I was like, yeah. <laughs> It does. It does make me feel lazy. Yeah. And yeah, Larry, so, okay. Larry Willard said, it took me two tries. I'm on the welcome page now. He's in. Awesome, Larry. Great to have you in. Awesome. There. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, let me, I see a couple of questions about the bonuses and stuff. Let me run, run through those real quick just so you guys can see again everything you're getting. Um, let me pull this up. So obviously the influencer site and the software, the training, these are all the bonuses, the checklists. Our team setting up the site, the developer license, you can do as many of these as you want. The, the appointment setter blueprint alone is, I mean, that really like setting up, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just not one of those people that like, it doesn't thrill me to wake up every morning to know that I've got to go prospecting, right? And so one of the best things I ever did in my business was taking that out of my hands. And I found somebody in my local area, uh, a stay-at-home mom, which we show you how to do in the training, where, where to find them, what 
how to make a job posting that's attractive to them. And uh, I just offered to pay her on commission if she would just make these calls and do these business verification things and then ask them if they want an appointment. And so then I, you know, I come in every week and I've got a series of appointments lined up for the week and I just go meet with them or I call them on the phone. And what's really great is, again, it's an entirely different uh, situation because they're actually talk to me like, like I have some authority, right? Like when people show up to the appointments because they were set by somebody on my team, like there's perceived value there. Um, just the whole conversations go different than when you're just trying to be out there like everybody else, like, oh, I sell marketing services or whatever, you know, it's like, it can be very frustrating to to deal with prospecting that way. But when you set things up the way we show you, it's really, really great. Uh, let's see, let me look through the questions here. Terry Collins is in. Welcome, Terry. Yeah, awesome, Terry. Uh, Mark is uh, Mark posted a pretty good uh, comment. He says this is a major difference between you and guy, between you guys and some other guy. I won't. I don't want to call out competition, but he <laughs> says that he wants to own your everything in his system. You don't. Yeah. With, with this thing, um, like Tom mentioned, he he wants you guys to set it up on your domain, on your hosting, so that you know, worst case scenario, you guys are in full control of everything. Uh, so I guess there is someone else out there kind of selling something somewhat similar but wanting to be in control of everything if you run into anything like that run the other way yeah you don't want that because really like i mean this is an this is an asset right like it's a digital asset it's digital real estate that you can really keep as small or grow as big as you want right i mean to, to be really um to be really upfront for a long time i didn't i didn't invest anything in trying to grow my influencer site, right? Like, I mean, I set it up, I added businesses to it, and then I just used it as leverage to go prospect. Like I didn't, I didn't have a Facebook connect, a Facebook page connected to it. I didn't have a blog on it. Like I didn't have any of that stuff. I just, I set it up, I added some businesses and then I would, I would call those businesses or I'd, I would email them and be like, Hey, look, I want to verify information. And I was getting clients that way. Like I didn't see any need to do anything else because it's like I was closing deals, I was getting clients. And then uh, Nick was like, man, you know, if you just put some effort into this, he's like, you could make this thing that's like, people would be like, wow. And so I was like, all right, fine. You know, I kind of went begrudgingly into doing it, but you know, it is really easy. It doesn't take a lot to make a lot of activity, right? Like I said, we have a way to automate um, getting local content that you can show on a Facebook page. Uh, like I said, I, I do a lot of the blog articles or PLR that I just do minimal edits to and, and throw on there. So, you know, it's not hard to make it look like it's there, like there's a lot of stuff going on to it, you know, and um, that really does make it even more effective if you're you're willing to put the time in that. But if, even if you're somebody who's just trying to, you know, to build a social media following or whatever, like you could do that here, right? Like you could start you could go to restaurants in town and write restaurant reviews and publish them on your blog. You could, you could really build up a local following that you could then promote other things to, right. Or offer local businesses a way to uh, get word out about their business on your channel. Like if you went into a, a local business and you were like, Hey, I've got a, um, an Instagram page that's got, you know, a thousand people from this local area in it, like 500 bucks, I'll do a thing on your business. Like, People are going to go for that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It's much I know easier that I, than trying to compete against every compete against everybody else. Yeah, there there was just one guy here in Miami that uh, kind of started like that. He, I believe, he started a blog. He was a food a food guy, so he started a food blog here, um, and he started going to restaurants and and um, uh, pretty much reviewing their food. And he got to the point where his review was like, you know, if you got a good review on his thing, he be it was awesome like you would get the stamp of approval and your restaurant would blow up and then he got to the point where he he got so big and so much authority that he was able to command events and he would charge people to put on this food event you know invite all the food trucks or invite all these event, uh, all these restaurants to this one place and they all have their samples of their food um, and then he started giving, he even got to the point where he was uh, giving out trophies like at these events because oh, yeah. he would, man, it, yeah. it's incredible how, you know, you 
quickly and how how big you can get in some of these local areas yeah well and and that's the thing like nobody's doing that right like you take a site like this and then you take all that internet marketing knowledge that you have about building an email list about running social media about doing all those things that that everybody else is trying to do on a national level and they're struggling to do anything you just focus on a local area and bring those things in it's like you knock it out of the park because nobody's doing that right like no and the businesses don't they look at you and they go oh my god here's a person that knows how to do social media because they see things about you stuff you're doing everywhere it's like it's crazy i mean one of the i think you know probably the biggest example of that right is gary vaynerchuk right like i mean how did that guy become a social media rock star because he freaking took his parents wine business and he made youtube videos like yeah. because he was able to do that everybody looked at him like you're a youtube genius like he was just doing a local business right like and so that's the kind of that's what we really call the influencer effect it's really just like you know it's like when somebody writes a book like they're an expert because they wrote the book and why did they write the book because they're not it's like this this closed circle where people just assume you know what you're talking about and nobody ever goes up to you and says well how many books did you sell they're just like oh my god you wrote a book right like the influencer site is the same thing people don't come to you and be like well i need to know all the details it just like they just see that you know what you know what you're doing right it's really it's really crazy you almost have to kind of experience it then you start to appreciate it and you're like oh yeah if i'm out there doing things people think i can do things because i'm actually doing things <laughs> like, <laughs> absolutely yeah. uh, hey tom it's cameron here i don't know uh we are actually out of bonuses so i don't know if you want to make a last call here and maybe maybe we Do can extend we, the offer to anybody well, that's well, here live well, what what we can do is uh, stop the recording uh, um, since we're going on two hours now. Uh, and then those of you that stick around can hear the nice, juicy, extra things that we do when we're not recording anymore. <laughs> the so gloves come up for that. Give us a two in the chat box if you'd like us <laughs> to stop the recording and uh, give out some good, cool things for you guys that are still on here. Oh, Perfect. I see Larry says too. Tons of twos coming okay. in. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop the recording now so that we can stop that at two hours and then we'll stick around here um, and uh, offer you guys some cool things for sticking around.